Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. As the recording of this, it is Saturday, March 4th, 2023. I will be departing where I'm standing now in Celebration, Florida, getting in my car, driving over to Orlando International MCO for short, and I will be flying on a brand new airline that started, I believe, in 2021. And just within the last couple weeks, at least have made it known, or possibly even began, a ra very rare flight from Orlando direct with no lay layovers to Orange County, John Wayne. Usually to go from Orlando to Orange County, you have to have a layover either in Houston or in Dallas, or maybe go up to Salt, I don't think you go up to Salt Lake. You have to have a layover. That is all changing. And I am trying this airline for the first time. Impulsively decided to go out to California. Had thought about it, there was an event that was gonna be happening in the next couple of days that was postponed, but I said to myself, you know what? Heck it, I'm going out there anyway. I'll be out there for three, four, maybe five days, give or take a day. And then I'm gonna go to Las Vegas for a few days and then fly back on a different airline from Vegas. So I'm flying one way today. And then when I decide to come back in the middle of the month, it will be on a totally different airline. But Breeze Airways, not Breeze Airlines, but Breeze Airways is happening today. You gonna guide the way, Crow? Or you do, you're staying here? You're not gonna follow me to SoCal? I gotcha. Oh, okay. I know what that crow just said. No, no. That Hitchcock will be proud. He said, join me. That was a shallow. And one thing I really liked about this airline, well, airway as they call it, is how inexpensive it was. Baggage was included and they do not have a first class seat, but they do have something called, I think they call it nicest seat. It was $197 to go one way. Oh, they're cheering on they're cheering on the minute hand. So you can get a round trip for probably $350 in the nicest, biggest seat, which I'm gonna be testing out today. If you just want a regular coach seat, one way is like 95 bucks. You get a round trip from Orlando to John Wayne for under $200, including baggage on this new airline, which means you could go from Disney World to Disneyland in the same day without having to go to LAX. I'm kind of stalling waiting for this minute hand to... Hey, the bicycle's not moving. There it goes. I'm off. Since I'm about leaving my car here for the duration of my trip, I need to pull through here and pull a ticket. I think it's like 20, Maybe $25 a day to leave your car here at the airport. I think it's 20. Oh, there you go, $19 a day. That's not too bad. Did have to drive to a couple different levels here on the A side, but I did find a spot. I'll be leaving my car and heading over to the A gates where the Breeze Air plane should be sitting. Never flown Breeze before. Sure, they chose the name because you could just say, oh, it's a breeze. Flying on this airline is a breeze. I'm sure that can put into consideration for the advertising. I do have to take this elevator across. There's the hotel up there. One of these days I'm gonna stay at a hotel at an airport. I haven't yet. One of these days, not today though. Tunnel to terminal. Oh, look at this. This is how I know what parking area I'm in. Because there's, I think these might be, what are these raccoons? They're drinking like a bottle of milk or a bottle of booze. Life's a picnic. Oh, I just missed the elevator. It's on the way. Hey. It's an easy joke. Okay, we're going from the raccoon level. There's also a level four, which is turtle. I should have parked on turtle. Down to rental car. There we go. Down to T. Taking the tunnel. Gates, level three. Going up. Also, I pack very, very, very light. All I ever bring is my backpack and my rolling case that goes above my head. This usually goes under my seat. I very rarely do check on today. No check on either. Let's see if I can find an information board. Let's see if the flight has been delayed anymore or if it's still. Par for the course and gonna be happening when it's supposed to happen. 
There's a board right over here. But before I walk over there, I'm always distracted by fountains. Like this one. All right, now over to the boards. All the way on the top right up there, there are two different Orange County flights. Let me zoom in on it. Wedged in between Omaha and Panama City. There's one on Southwest, which I'm not doing, and then there's flight 603 on Breeze, and that is why it has that red delayed. Was gonna be departing at 450, but now it says 548, which was the last notification I got. Where did it go? I lost track of it now. Oh yeah, 450, now it's 548. That's the one I'm looking at, the bottom red one. Gate 30. Okay, I had to walk a, you know, a couple hundred yards over to gate A. I was over at B and, or I was over at the B area. I need to go over to, to A, but I like this. So I always like to point out, it kind of looks like the exterior of Spaceship Earth. This line over here doesn't look too bad. This is gate one through 59. I'm looking for gate 30, so this doesn't look too bad. And even though there's no one in these lines, you still gotta walk. I always like pointing this out. I could have easily just, you know, could remove one of those, but I'm gonna take it upon myself to do that. And since you can bring no liquids on the plane, everyone just puts their liquids all right here. There's just lots and lots of liquids that they just put right here on top of the trash can. I had to take my hat off, had to take my belt off, had to take my laptop out of this bag. I've learned a lot. I used to put my laptop in here, but taking it out of there and removing it and putting it in its own tray was a little, it was easier just to have it in my backpack and I take it out and I could put it right back in there throw it above my head or above my feet when I get on the plane, take my shoes off. And I always, you always wonder, like when you take your shoes off, you're, you're walking from over there, well, through like where everybody else is, is treading on this dirty floor. You gotta wonder like what my socks look like on the bottom, but I don't even wanna think about it. I got plenty of time. I think the plane boards at like 5.30, so I've got, I got plenty of time. I don't really like getting there too early, so it kind of works out, works out well by the time I get there. I just have like not too long before. Oh, here it is right here, the Orange County. On Breeze, 603 is the flight number. It's delayed, but it's supposed to take a 450, but it is now departing. Oh, uh, okay, now they're just showing what the gate areas look like on 30 through 59. I am looking for gate 30, which is gonna be at D4. D4. Gate 30 through 59. Ah, this is where the Breeze plane is gonna be, right there at gate 30. So that is where the airplane will pull up. There's like hardly over anyone over in this little wing. But at least the good news is it's not delayed any more than it was, so I was already notified even before I left my place. So 5.48 will be the departure, which isn't too long from right now. I'm not really sure what the snack and food situation is gonna be like on the flight. I could get something here just in case to take on, but I think I'm gonna live live on the wild side and just kind of see what happens, kind of wait it out. This thing will be departing at dusk, so it'll definitely be getting us some, some nighttime activity as it, as it ends up taking off. And it's about 30 minutes till the plane takes off. Should be time to board. And it has not showed up to the gate yet. So I'm just wandering around, looking up here, at this little sun window. What do they call this thing, atrium? Uh, Sky, sky room. Got to wonder how many people impulse buy, you know, miss, like over here at Mystic Silver, Pure Shopping Magic. They impulse buy some of these hats and stuff when they're just waiting for their flights. I will say though, that's pretty dang cool right there. Like there's like sunglasses or these glasses or mirrors. It's kind of neat. And there's a candy, candy jar place right there with the world's largest Jolly Rancher like sucker pop right there. Like it far exceeds the size of this one right here, which is massive on its own. And there's a giant gummy snake, gummy sushi, and a gummy taco. I wonder how long you could chew on a gum. I mean, I always chew gum on a flight because, you know, it helped pop my ears. I wonder if I, instead of pulling gum out, if I just started chewing on a gummy taco, if that would be looked upon as kind of unusual and bizarre. Or, ooh, an edible gummy hot dog? Look at that thing. Yeah, that's tempting right there. This is what I do when I wait for flights. I just wander around and look at interesting stuff. There's Mario. 
I should also mention that this is in the gate section with United and American, and I believe one other one, but that is the one that breathes. Oh, they're making an announcement. Thank you for being with us today. We look forward to giving you more information about our installment. Okay, it appears as if they pushed it back another few minutes. So at noon today, about 1220, they sent me this. Said to be here 30 minutes before 510. While I was still home, they sent of the other one that's saying it was delayed till 5.43, so I left it a little later, which is totally fine. And they sent another one to remind me it's at 5.43, be a half hour early. And now, after I stayed it a minute ago, it is now 5.16 at 5.10. They notified me that a breeze flight to SNA is now departing at 5.57 p.m. Please be the gate 30 minutes before takeoff. I'm here. Now, this is an experiment that sometimes things don't go according to plan. But because it is a new airline, you can't expect it. I mean, well, not a new airline, but a new route. You know, and there's only like, I think maybe one plane going to and fro. You kind of expect to lie. When you have like a bigger airline that has like 10 or 15 planes going to the same area. So this is kind of just a fun little thing. I'm just waiting patiently. It looks like this might be the gas truck or the gas pump. Nope, it's not. It's still not it, but there's some workers down here. It looks like it's about to pull into the, into the gangway. The current time is 5.30 p.m. I think originally the plane was going to take off at 4.53 p.m. and then they changed it to 5.40 departure. It is now just pulling... American Airlines flight 457 with service to Miami, gate 58, yes. now boarding all seat rows, all passengers, paging passengers. Okay, that is... Bird. You can see the control tower up there. Pulling into gate 30. The one and only brand new Breeze Airlines. Not super new. It's been around for a year and a half, two years, the company. But the, the route that I'm going to be going on just became a thing to SNA, Santa Ana, Orange County, without a layover, which is pretty dang awesome. I don't mind the hour, and well, it's probably an hour and a half delay when it's all said and done, which is kind of like a layover, but at least I don't have to get off the plane and get back on the plane. I can just be comfortable. American Flight 2506 in service to DCA. Should be boarding now through gate 56. This is our final boarding call for American Flight 2506. Head service to DCA. All ticketed and confirmed passengers should be boarding now through gate 56. I can't be the only one, you know, that hears DCA and doesn't think, doesn't think airport and thinks Disney California Adventure. <laughs> it might be an Airbus, buddy. Yeah, it might be an Airbus. I always get excited, so I fly a lot, and you always, well not always, but you occasionally will see people who know the different types of aircraft, and they get very excited about it, and it's just kind of fun to see other people that are just into to different types of airplanes. I'm just I'm slowly starting to know differences, but I'm still a novice in every way, shape, and form. But I'm, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm traveling enough, and I fly enough, where I'm kind of starting to recognize one plane from the next and certain things that some planes have and some planes don't. I do not know what kind of plane this is though, other than a breeze. Direct flight to John Wayne. Now if John Wayne himself would have flown from here to Orange County, he probably would have taken his own private airplane, but most likely. I think he had a boat, but I don't know if he ever owned it. Once again, American Airlines flight four, five, seven. And that looks to be where they're going to put the luggage. They're going to take the luggage off with that little, a motorized cart there that has the the belt on it that will lower the luggage down. That's where the luggage goes in and out, right underneath there. I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory, but I point out the obvious. That's what I do, like right there. There goes the shuttle and or monorail train that goes across from the main gate over to this section. And here comes the luggage cart that's empty because they're going to empty off the luggage of the people that are on there now. And they're going to put on the luggage of the people who are getting on, including myself, even though I have no check luggage. Mine's all carry on. They just inserted the gas hose down into the ground there or some sort of funnel mechanism into the fuel truck there. Let's see if they connect another one onto the plane itself. So they got one tube into the ground and it must siphon itself into the truck and then spin around and then the fuel goes up into 
which section maybe and also able to see this is this is the little mecha mechanism that they have the steel bar they do the pushback on this might be the pushback vehicle because the plane usually will not kick into reverse to go backwards they'll use this little tugboat type thing or something similar to this they'll connect with that steel beam and they will push the plane back usually when they're pushing his back is when they're doing the safety spiel you know telling you how to use the the belt you know the belt buckle and the the air pack and all that. All right, he's now inserting the tube up into the top of the wing so the fuel goes in the wing, halfway down the wing, right past the engine there. About to siphon it, well, it's not siphon it, it's gonna push the fuel in. It's gonna project itself into there and then into the engine or to where the fuel is kept. Ah, maybe they do have some meals on here. There is the Sky Chef there towards the back. Sometimes the Sky Chefs will load towards the front. This one loads towards the very, very, very back. So maybe they will have snacks and food on here. Probably for purchase, but yeah, they have, they have food. All right, it's now 5.57 and they have just announced a start boarding. I don't really know, they didn't really call a group or anything. In fact, I don't even know if they're using the PA, but it seems like everyone's starting to kind of funnel in now. It is now six o'clock on the dot. It's now 6 p.m. Yep, I just looked at my phone just to clarify. 6 p.m. Okay, I'm heading in. I am in seat 4F. They only had one associate working, one lady. She's working really hard. But she's the only one there at the gate. And I always like to peek out here and get a look at the, the plane itself when I'm kind of looking out the side window here where it says Breeze. Well, you can see where it says Breeze. But it says Breeze. I'm not sure what side I'm sitting on, but I do have a window seat. Probably towards the front. And the planes are all painted blue. It's the hue of the color of the plane. Oh, there they are. They're take, bringing some of the Sky Chef meals on right now. Alright, first thought. Definitely a lot more leg room in here than I thought there was going to be. These are nice seats for a budget airline. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm over here on this side with the wing view. I gotta say the seats are pretty dang comfortable for the for the price. A lot of legroom. Pretty content with things so far. I mean besides the delay, but it's not that big of a deal. Self-service over to John Wayne, Orange County. We'll be pushing off the gate here shortly. We're just uh, waiting on some final paperwork and then we'll be on our way. Apologize for the late start. Uh, the plane just uh, came in, as you noticed, they had a little bit of a delay getting out of Orange County. Uh, we'll make up as much time as we possibly can en route. We'll fly as fast as we can and uh, get you there as quickly and safely as possible. Extra speed mode. Flight time is planned at five hours, 10 minutes. Cruising at 36,000 feet. Should be mostly smooth ride, at least until we get over central Texas. Might be a few bumps associated with the weather that blew through there earlier this week. And uh, with that in mind, we'll turn the seatbelt sign off once we find some smooth air. That'll be cute and safe to get up and move out the cabin. In the meantime, as long as that seatbelt sign's illuminated, please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened. Latest weather at John Wayne Airport is reporting it's like out of the south, 10 miles an hour, good visibility, each. partly cloudy skies, current temperatures 59 degrees. 
Snack box is 850. We're glad to have you with us today. Get a up bundle. Is Daniel. In the back helping you out are Hannah, Kelly, and Megan. They're going to take great care of you. Please pay attention to our board safety announcements. They're here primarily you for your safety. Now sit back, relax, and Less enjoy expensive the flight. things that get you on the snacks and drinks. And it's like there's no meals, just snacks. Overwing exits have slides that can be used in normal water landing. If there's a loss of electric power for a level of emergency lighting, we'll guide you to all the exits. All exits have lighted signs. Please take a moment to find the two exits near you. Keep in mind that they may be behind you. Light vests are located in the compartment beneath or adjacent See, to your seat. There's that pushing. Remove the vest from the pouch. Pushing back the plane. Red dot. Put the vest it's up over your head and fasten right the now. strap around your waist. Adjust the strap to fit tight. As you leave the plane, inflate the vest by pulling down the red tab or manually inflate by blowing air into the tube. Going past Black all vest. the other airline planes. This is the only breeze that I've seen. The lonely breeze. Pay no attention to the breeze. About to take off. Snack item that I showed that was like 
thirsty now, maybe I'll get two cups. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll get my cup that's included and then I purchase another cup. And I still might get some checks next because I haven't eaten today yet. for 
the duration of the flight, please be seated with your seatbelts fastened until we're parked at the gate. The latest weather at John Wang is reporting calm winds, good visibility, partly cloudy skies, current temperatures 54 degrees. Right now we're 146 miles from the runway, should put us on the ground about 28 minutes. Thanks for coming with us tonight, hope to see you again on another breeze flight. Again, it's kind of hard to pinpoint it, but somewhere down there is Anaheim, Disneyland.
pretty happy with the seat arrangements. Uh, pretty good amount. Pretty good amount of room here. Just two side by side. Yeah, nice little setup. Just get my bag and get off this plane. Yeah, the seat was comfortable, a lot of leg room. Oh, I've arrived. Orange County escalator here isn't working. Gotta hoist this down. Ooh, it feels nice out here. A little chill and a little nip in the air. It has been really warm in Florida lately. I know the rest of the country is going through a lot of, a lot of cold spells and whatnot, but Florida has been toasty, like overly warm for, you know, early March, late February, a week or two ago, and now into March. It feels really good here. There's right there. There's the Duke himself, John Wayne, sculpture of the man. The name the airport was named after. So I just gotta find where the rental car area is. Let's see, this shows directional arrows here. At this out, at this hour, I should say, all the rental cars are in the lower section of the parking area. So you have to you can pick up your. You have rideshare vehicles over here, but if you're looking for rentals, it says I am here. Rental cars is on level zero. So I got to take the elevator down to level zero. But I do like this because I do not have to take a bus off property like some airports do. Orlando International is great because you can pick up the cars just like John Wayne at the airport itself and not take a bus off property. Sometimes it's like a whole process taking the buses. More, more times than not. But this is what I like about John Wayne. Orange County. I never know what to call this airport. Also kind of neat that all the rental cars are down here in the bowels. The Orange County Airport parking structure. Bowels. find my car and that's gonna do it for today it is just after 9 it is 9 15 p.m. which means it's 12 15 in Florida after midnight it's been kind of a long day the three-hour time difference all in all pretty good flight a little bit of turbulence about halfway through but wasn't too bad did not serve a meal but they did have some appropriate snacks and the seat was decent size not much of a difference and regular, like a regular airline's first class, some of the ones that are a little more pricey, size-wise of the seat that I had, that was called a nicer seat. I, I will fly this airline again, especially not having to go to LAX. I mean, sometimes you have to go to LAX depending on, you know, scheduling and whatnot. But as far as I can tell, this is the first time since I've been flying on a regular basis that you can go from MCO, Orlando International, to Orange County, direct flight without a layover in Houston or Dallas or Denver or one of the other places without coming into here. So it's a lot more low-key and easier to pick up here on a car. And they are promoting it, Breeze Airlines or Breeze Airways. They're kind of pushing it as Disney to Disney. So if you want, you know, if you're, if you're into Walt Disney World and you need to go to Disneyland, this is this is the chance without having the the extra layover and all that. I'll do it again, but for now I'm gonna go <laughs> to my hotel and get some rest. I'm pretty tired. It's been a long day. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. Take a look at that. Disneyland fireworks are happening right off the freeway.